XCOM 2 to catch you guys up from last time. We had a revenge mission. These aliens were terrorizing civilians. We had to go in there and let them know we don't appreciate. We don't appreciate you terrorizing Earth's civilians. We had one of them psychic guys with the big purple blast raise up a blob that attacked Nico. And Nico survived, but she's now gravely wounded and in the infirmary. Along with along with R. Kelly and I forget the other one. Quan. And Quan. So we are we are down on our our initial count. Everyone's taking a few hits, but we're hanging in there. And we've been bringing a rookie along each time just to give us some variation as to our group. So we'll continue to do that because obviously our guys are going to take some hits in this game. And we want to make sure that we we do have them situated where they don't just fall off the face of the earth. You should establish contact with the local resistance. No, I'm going with that. We should have one of these that the takes just a day or two left. With their okay, let's go check this one. So, one of our other problems is we're still a bit low on supplies. So we're, we are still flying around trying to get some supplies. So we can continue along with missions here. Oh good! I got some money. That's good. Recruit new staff. New staff! Thank you. Here we go. So we got dark events. So we have five weeks before they before they either have a rapid response unit or they have a, a UFO that hunts down the our Avenger. Both of which not particularly what we're looking for. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I ignored it. I wish I had ignored it. But I wanted, I wanted to go to these intact structures. Oh, good. Now we have finished our room, and we actually have enough money to build something now. I'm thinking the proving ground is the way we want to go. It's expensive. It takes the majority of our supplies, but it gets us closer on the... on the... story. So we're going to keep doing that. Okay, thank you. I know, it's okay. So we're building the proving ground, which is one of our major, major goals. So we can access the alien network, so we can contact the Black Site region, so we can, we can get some additional help. Okay, we finished the trooper autopsy. We have a battle scanner, which could be quite useful. It's exciting. I think let's do the faceless autopsy. It's quick. I am at a loss for words to describe. Uh, me too. That thing was disgusting. That guy dropped trowel. He mooned us on the way up. Wasn't a pretty sight. Not not what I think anyone was particularly looking for. But, but we got some new rookies. We got Rob Matthews and Dmitry Malikov. Malak Malikov. Malikov. We'll go with Malikov. Call him old Mali. All right, so supply drop. Yes, where is that? Where is my supply drop? Okay, well we're plotting a new course over to these this potentially potential supply drop. Is this my supply drop? Yes. Oh yeah, we definitely want that. I will pick up these supplies. We just got a fair amount of money. Uh, we'll fly back to headquarters. So we, we definitely got quite a bit of cash on that. Very exciting to get that. And new staff. Let's let's go check out the new... No, we're going to ignore them. We don't need new staff. Do we need new staff? We're good with the staff we have. What we need... What we need is... A mission. We need to frag us some aliens. We're checking out this increased region income. Oh, we finished up the face, faceless autopsy. We have a Mimic Beacon. That sounds exciting. I am in on making a couple Mimic Beacons. So let's go see. How does this do? So a Mimic Beacon, it allows you to throw out this beacon and it, a little hologram of an XCOM soldier appears. And the aliens, being aliens, think, oh, I gotta shoot this, this hologram. Because, well, we never said they were the most intelligent five days let's get moving on the resistance communication let's go to engineering hey 
Let's make a mimic beacon. So we're going to go to build items. Look, okay. We need more faceless corpses. And it's expensive. So maybe we don't get a nano scanner. We can get one of those. And the nano scale vest, we built one. We put it on Pete, which, okay, makes some sense. But honestly, a bit, a bit underwhelmed with that. It gave him, it uh, looks like one extra hit point. Here we go. Let's get ready. Hello, Commander. Hi. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Well, I'm on the move. They're noticing Advent me. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I bet they're making a sequel I to Avatar. The site we had previously Sounds uncovered like a good movie. to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. Yeah, it's a big movie. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent. From a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. That might be Though fun. we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. I think so. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. James Cameron, I'm Were coming for you. To succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. Okay, so apparently we're going after James Cameron. Progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish okay. What is going on up here? We got three red red bars. Well, it's out in the middle of the ocean. I think, you know what? Whatever. I figure the worst thing that can happen is we get a, a, a mediocre sequel to a okay movie. Avatar movie was really just Fern Gully. I mean, right? Am I the only person who thinks this? New target. Is it James Cameron? Oh, it is! It is a Cameron! It's not James Cameron, it's Cameron McDonald. AKA James Cameron. What do we do here? Hack the workstation. Alright. Let's go. We're going to confirm. Leave the supplies for a minute. We have to go get James Cameron's notes, his screenplay for Avatar the sequel. Alright. So we need a solid group ready to go. So we got Pete. He strolls up. He's got the drone. He's going to be the hacker. We're going to get him next to that computer. We got Jeeves. She carries a sword. She's sharp. We got Gretch. He's got a big gun. Those grenades. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hopeful that she might be able to take out a wall or two and put, and put Pete right next to that computer. Now we've got R. Kelly, and, and really, who wants to hang out with R. Kelly? He can't even fly anymore. So we're going to get rid of this guy. And like I was mentioning earlier, we do want to bring rookies with us. And why do we bring rookies? In case one of our other guys dies or gets wounded, then they have to go sit in the infirmary. So who do we want to bring? I think we bring old Malakai. Malakov. So Malakov, you're in. Look at this guy, dude. So we're going to bring him... Uh, and I think we're good. So this guy's got some extra armor, which is good. He'll be next to the PC doing the hacking. We don't have a sharpshooter. We don't have a sniper. But that's what it is. So let's go. We're launching an assault. We're going to get script for Avatar. Avatar 2. Electric Treehouse. Let's go. Begin mission. Avatar 2, 
Return to Fern Gully. I don't know the name yet. We're going to get that from the script. But I have a feeling it's Return to Fern Gully. Could easily be Return to Fern Gully. I'm in for that. If it's called Return to Fern Gully, I'm watching it. Slums District, Blood City. That's where we're going. Apparently James Cameron likes to go to the slums to write his scripts. It's a bit of a surprise to me. But it might make more sense around Terminator 3. It might have been getting inspiration. So we're traveling. This will be a good mission. I have some confidence in my guys. And we still need to get someone some kills of a promotion so that we can get that additional slot on our squad. We want that extra person. We want five people. We want six people. I want as many, many team members out there as I can. So here we go. We started on a roof. I don't... Okay. Is that a turret? It looks like there was something on top of this. What's this? Was I seeing things? Or was it higher? I don't know. If there's the computer, that's what we're going to hack. That's where we're going. We're going to get Pete close to that computer. These guys are on the roof. So here's plan one. We're going to move out with Jeeps. Hopefully, she has good eyesight because we're going to use her to spot. Now we're all concealed right now. We only have eight turns until the network shuts down. So we got to move relatively quickly through here, which also means we have to play a little more dangerous than we would like. Okay, we have two guys out to the right. One happens to be... Oh, and we do we do have turrets on top. That's problematic, but I have a plan for it. Because when I saw him earlier, I think we're going to use Gretch. And Gretch is going to make a hole. And if the turret can't, doesn't have any wall to sit on, then it breaks. falls down. That means that we're going to need Jeeves and Malikov to handle these two aliens up here. And Ben Pete will obviously be running towards towards the PC. So geez, let's get you in position up fairly close. So Gretchen is going to go sit, sit next to Jeeves right now. And we're going to position just the other guys ready to attack the aliens on the next turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, we see another one? What's this one? I don't know. Okay, so who do we have? Okay, Mount Malakov. So we went full coverage. And he's gonna be lining up his next shot. And I think I think we use a shot from old Pete on these guys before we take him into the building. And this is really a precautionary, because we do have a rookie in in the corporal shooting at these guys. And for Jeeves. She has a shotgun, which is generally a close quarters weapon. So you want to be cautious about that. These get two out there. We definitely need both of Gretchen's grenades to make the hole in the building. Which means that this guy doesn't have a grenade, unfortunate. Like, what's combat protocol? Dude, that might be fun to use. And pretty good shots on these guys. But what we'd like to do is get this guy in a position to take them out with an overwatch if they try to do anything. So he's got good good one. We're going to put him in overwatch so that when we do the initial attack that guy he gets a he gets a free shot basically. And let's see where we can put Jeeps. Jeeps. Oh, she has a shot at the turret and pretty good shots at these guys. I think let's go ahead and put her in overwatch as well. Gretch, we're going to come back to you after we after we do the initial attack. Okay, Pete. Time to earn your keep. So what we're going to do is... That guy has four hit points. So it's not going to be as easy to kill. This guy has quite a few hit points. And that's the one we're going to attack. 72 on each. So likely that we're going to hit. Alright. So let's kick it off. Go, Pete. Take the shot. So we are kicking this off. Oh, five. Good hit from Pete. Return of the Mac. There it is. You know you're going to get fragged. Okay, we're, well, we're in. We're in. Here we go. Okay, so we got this guy. And he's shooting at... Oh, Malikov missed. Second shot. Dude. 
Jeeves just took him out. That was impressive from Jeeves. Now, ooh. Okay, turrets are turrets are online. Turrets are online. All right, Gretch, time for you to shine. So we want a hole in this wall. Can you make a hole in the wall? Yes. What do you mean a friendly target? What's a friendly target? Is it that computer? Oh, that's that's actually disappointing. Okay, let's see if I can't figure out a way to. Okay, she's doing this. Let's go, Gretch. Drop a hole in that wall. She made a hole in the wall. Unfortunately, the turret is still there. So not not as not as not as clean as I would have liked it. So where's this guy going? Oh, he's right up next to Pete. Oh no! Oh man, that's that's not good. The turret gonna shoot at Gretch? Okay, turret couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. It is you know, it's dangerous, and that probably means this turret's gonna get a shot too. Come on, Gretch. Okay, good dodge from Gretch. Good dodge from Gretch. All right, this guy's stunned. We need him to wake up. Is he up? All right, hold on. Alright, Jeeps. Jeeps, you know what we're gonna do. We've got one to do this for quite some time. Alright, run over there. Here we go. We're gonna slash him. Three to five. We can do it. We can do it. Get that sword. Oh! Cut to the heart! And you're too late! You just got a big shank. That was that was quite aggressive from Jeeves. So you cleave that guy in two. Okay, this guy's got shots on the turrets and a grenade. Can he get that grenade? He cannot hit, hit the turret with the grenade, which puts us right back to shooting the weapon. A good choice, good, good, good hit percentage. One turret down, one turret down, one turret down. Good. So that leaves us, oh, unfortunately, Jeeves is in the open. But we do have Gretch with a decent shot at the turret. Let's take out the turret. Oh yeah! Woo! Gretch blew that one away. Good minigun. Way to go. So that leaves us with who? With Pete. He's a little injured. He's taking he's taking some damage. But he is up still. So we're gonna get him closer to the computer. Because he is our hacker. I don't know what happened. Okay. So, still here. Here's what I'm thinking. Oh, he can hack it. He can hack it from way out here. Let's go. Hack that workstation. If we can do it without getting that close, that's all the better. So, here we go. We have... So, let's see. Unlock chance 48%. Oh, so we have the hack. We can increase or we can re reduce research time. I think this one's better. So let's go. Begin the hack, Pete. Hack the planet. Oh no! We didn't We didn't unlock, but we did breach the workstation. So we're going to have success there. I'm hitting all the keys. Come on, Gremlin. Come on back. Good hack. Okay, so we have not yet neutralized all the enemy targets. What we're going to have him do is use the aid protocol on yourself. That's not what I was thinking. I was looking for a way for you to heal yourself. I don't think he has that. Okay. So the only other the only other enemy I'm aware of is a potential other turret on the other side. See that guy. So I think let's take him out. You know? Let's just put it right here. Put it right beneath him. Let's see what happens. Come on, Gretch. I don't know if it did any damage or not. We definitely, we definitely did some building damage, though. <laughs> These guys are gonna have to send us a bill. All right, Malkov, you're gonna get close. We're gonna get you in full cover because we don't want to want you, want you getting shot at for no reason. And Jeeps, you. 
You did excellent with the with the sword attack. I'm gonna pull you right up here into this corner. You're getting close to the building. You're gonna go in, you're gonna go look around. Let's see what we got. Pete's still over here. Let's get you overwatch. Oh, we got some drops coming in. Okay, I'm glad we do have Pete in Overwatch. So wherever they drop, we potentially have an early shot. They dropped right on top of Pete! Pete, take the shot at him, man! Oh man, they're all over us. Drop them, Pete! Yeah! That's what you get. Okay, so Pete is in the mix of it and unfortunately flanked. Are they going to ha do they come in shooting or do we get a chance to? Okay, we do have some other guys back here. So really, did those guys not get hit by Gretchen's grenades? I'm a bit surprised. Are we out? Oh, is he shooting? Okay. I was about I was about to be really concerned. So we, we are kind of we are a bit flanked, which is unfortunate. So I think what we're going to have to do. I'm not, not. Okay, where is she? All right. But she might have a shot at these guys. Not that good of a shot. This one she has a shot on. All right. So we we are in a bit surrounded, which is not ideal. What I'm going to do? I'm going to flank this guy and then kill him with Pete, and that'll give him cover against this guy. And I'm thinking Malkov comes over here, shoots him, and that puts us in decent cover for the next round. Actually, we can put him right here. Okay, this is gonna be a bit risky maneuver, but I don't think we have much of a choice. Hey buddy, how you doing? So, high hit chance on each one. What's combat protocol do? Only two damage, not what we're looking for. We need to kill him. Yeah, that guy right in the face. Do your thing, Pete. Oh, oh. That was ugly. Yeah, that was good. Alright, so Jeeps, we're gonna, you're going to stay there for a second. We're going to pull this guy out right over here, which should, mo well, it won't quite give us a flank. That was not that good. But what we can do, we can, uh, what's the hit? We're just going to blow this guy up with a grenade. Malkov, you know what to do. Oh, he just, that was a perfect toss from Malkov. He, he rolled that grenade just right at him. Doesn't have a big hit percentage, but she's also, we can put her in potentially better cover, but the hit percentage will go down. She is decently well protected. I think let's go ahead and have her attack. It's a 50-50. 50-50 on this guy on the, on the top. Go ahead and take him out. You got it, Gretch! Okay. okay. Alright. You know, she's probably got tinnitus from blowing things up. Just didn't quite hear the order. She thought suppressive fire which is not quite what we were looking for. So Jeeves is in an interesting position in the sense that she's close enough where she actually might be able to make a serious difference with that sword. But we're going to keep her in cover right now, take a pot shot at the Advent Officer, and get her get her hit. Okay, not, not the best there. Maybe taking off the shades would have helped. But we got two guys left and a turret, so we'll see what happens this round. Okay, he's he's running. He's shooting at Gretch. He has marked Gretch, which is not good. That means this guy's probably gonna want to shoot at him. Okay, he has now been. Ooh, is he flanked Jeeves? No, he's shooting at Gretch. Good dodge. Okay, I think Jeeves is going to shank that guy, which leaves us just just the other one to really be our, be concerned with. Now, moving her out here does expose her a little, quite a bit to the officer. Quite a bit. Or she can shotgun him, but it's not quite as cool. I think we're going to have to shotgun him. It's just quite a bit safer, and what we really don't want is anyone else taking, taking damage. What, you pointing your gun at me? Oh, that wasn't pretty. That's actually beautiful. That guy's down. And look, we, got some, we got some loot, which might be nice. I know you're burning ammo fast. You're doing a lot, of, a lot of damage. So I think we're going to move Gretch up. She does no more explosives. She's going to need a reload. Let's put her behind full cover. Okay. So 27%. Let's go ahead and have take have have Gretchen take the shot. It's unlikely, but it might clear out some of some of his cover. 
Okay. But we also moved her into full cover, which is quite a bit safer. And she's now out of ammo, which is unfortunate, but understandable. We're going to bring Malkov over and put him in Overwatch. I doubt he's going to have a decent shot, so we're going to Overwatch him. Pete is still out here. He doesn't have any eyes on guys. So we're going to bring him up in full cover, quite near the loot area. So hopefully we might be able to get some of that loot. He's taking a shot at Gretsch. Oh, Gretsch has taken some damage. That's not good. Not good. So she's going to be in the infirmary. Alright, so here's the plan. I need to get guys a bit closer. This guy actually might be where we need to go. Is there any cover? Right. Or where is Jeeps? That's perfect. It puts him in a bad position, gets Jeeps close, but it does not. We're gonna have to get some Jeeps, some decent cover on this guy. Alright, so you stay there. We need someone covering in case that other guy tries to take a shot at him. 26%, you go overwatch. Gretch, you have to reload, and I think we move her out of, out of his sight, if at all possible. What can we put her to get a, a safe reload? We can actually get her indoors. I think that's the way to do it. Let's get Gretch, you get right there. Go through the window, that's cool. And then we're going to get you to reload. So you should be safe from getting attacked in there. Good. Now you got ammo. And Pete is still available. He can... What's a combat protocol? It does two damage, period. I don't think that's really quite what we're looking for. I think for him, we're going to get the loot. And actually, we, he can provide excellent cover to Jeeps. And look, this is providing can cover as well. Let's put him right here. Alright, and you want Overwatch. If he moves, you take him out. Are you marking someone else now? No, he's shooting at Mally. This guy, this guy is a sharp shooter. Mally took some took some snags there. Oh, he's panicking. No, 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 no don't we run in there. Hunker down. What's he hunger? He, this guy. Okay. So I think we know what we're going to need to do. How much damage does this sword do? Three to five. Is this the movement range? Uh, I'm not real sure if it comes back. How does this work? Three to five. So it won't kill, which is. But we then then. So if we if we can get close enough. The gremlin can finish it off. I think let's see if we can't do this. 88% chance to connect with Slash. Let's go. Alright. Cut him. Ooh, beautiful cut. Oh, she stands right there. Oh, that, that was rather unexpected. Alright, Pete, where are you? I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to use your gremlin. And we're going to drop this guy. So we're sending the drone after this guy. Does two damage, takes him right on out. Zappy zap zap. Is that it? Okay. The turret, not a problem. So we have three soldiers wounded, which is painful. Quite painful. But we definitely took out nine enemies, which is good. And we hacked. We got, we got that Avatar 2 script from James Cameron. And Gretch, man, Gretch made the attacks. She took the most fire. Oh, Jeeves dealt the most damage. She used that sword. So, and we killed lots of enemies every turn. So our performance, I think, was okay. Really wish we hadn't had the guys take some damage. We're gonna have to get them to heal up. Let's hand out some promotions and we'll call this one. So let's see what we get. Because I think most people got a kill on this one. I know Gretch blew up some buildings. I know she got a kill. Gretch did good. Jeeps did good. Pete did okay. Oh, Pete also did not get a promotion. The only one to walk away empty-handed. But you know, you're already a corporal. What do you want? 
Next time, don't take damage. And gravely wounded. It's unfortunate. Let's see what we got here. He's a sharpshooter. That's so he's also a bit panicky. I don't know. I don't know about Malkov. We'll see. Old Mally. We call him Old Mally. Apparently now he is Irish. <laughs> Malkov. You won't have to get that close to him ever again. Let's look at Jeeves. Jeeves can be a phantom or a blade master. Now, I th considering that last mission, she sliced and diced two guys. I think she needs to be a blade master. So let's go with blade master. Good beans. And finally, we got Gretch, who took who took some shots, but she walked she walked out on her own power. She's still here, still fighting. We got blast padding. So she takes less damage from explosive attacks. And we got the Shredder, which your cannon attacks shred armor, so it reduces armor. Hmm. You know, if you have been you ever spent much time around Gretsch, you'll know that her words cut you. Cut you deeply. I think I think she's a shredder. And that's not just because she looks a little bit like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle villain. So we're going with Shredder. And that's that. The only person left standing is Jeebs. Ran off with promotion. Likes her sword. Everyone else. The infirmary is going to be quite crowded. Look at these. Lots of corpses. And a stun lancer corpse. Oh. Oh, that's that guy that came up and gave old Pete the zapper zapper. That's no good. Let's see what happens. And we got stun autopsy. Yeah, and a turret breakdown. Lots to do. As well as Cameron. Because, you know, he, he wants to come finish the script that we took. Okay. So this was a fun one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you guys later. Thank you. Hope you guys have a good night.